dungeon was a pain in the ass, causing a lot of misery for me. And surprisingly, that makes me feel good. With the late world's dungeons, they were a breeze. But with these challenge runs, it's probably better to make them too hard than too easy. I think most people would rather watch my challenge run a snake rattle and roll over the Pokemon one any day. At least with this episode, it makes me feel good about choosing the challenge. So, uh, let, let's see what I did wrong. are bar none annoying. Definitely when they split into smaller forms and try to take, oh, just like that. Alright, you know what? One heart left. Screw the bomb approach. Let's go with the hammer. Okay, ooh. That chipped off real easily. Okay. This is no longer chipping off easily. It's four hits. Five hits. Come on, break off already. Ugh. Okay, into the boss room where Helmosaur King is waiting. Let's start with the bomb approach. Whoops. Ah! Oh goody, I'm gonna die. Okay, come on. Ooh, nice. Oh god. Sneak attack. Okay, Helmosaur King, let's go. This time, instead of trying bombs, I'm gonna go with the hammer. Because, you know, bombs have a bad tendency to hurt me. Okay, screw the hammer, that never works. Oh, come on. Woo! I said I didn't hurt myself with that. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Ah! I only have one bomb left, let's switch to the hammer. Kinda have to this time. Ugh. Contact damage takes off so much health. Ugh. This boss is a pain. Come on, one chip down. Ah! The, the hammer's short range does not make this plan really easy. At least the fireballs fly at a decent pattern. And, ooh! Tail attack! I just don't know what went wrong! Okay, and here there's a narrow bridge. And a couple helmets are king. Oh god, don't fall off. Alright. Run across, take out him. You actually can run very far past the bridge. I cannot believe I just fell off like that. Okay, when that happens, just leave the room. Go back in. I cannot believe I just fell off the bridge after killing all the enemies. Ugh. Raiding for the Palace of Darkness last time, I gave the level of 5 and the boss a 6. But you don't really need a sword to fight Helmosaur King, so... His difficulty really was not changed by the challenge run. This time around, I'm going to keep the level rating at a 5. This level isn't terribly bad. The turtles are pretty much your biggest pain. The boss, however, this time, I'm going to give it one extra point. I'm going to give it a 7 this time. Helmosaur King does a lot of damage, which... You don't realize when you're picking up every single heart and every single heart piece you can find. Right now I'm down maybe five hearts. So another problem is trying to get rid of that dang mask. If it wasn't for the mask, this thing would be boom, done. But using bombs, you have a high chance of hurting yourself. Using a hammer, it's very, very short ranged and he's gonna lunge forward and hit you. So, either way, I was having trouble. Uh, inventory I left out, huh. 
trying to think what I'm missing. Well, you know what? Only because it affected me this time, I'm gonna put the upgraded shield on the list. That you could have gained uh, after getting the flippers. I believe it's the only item. Oh yeah, and the upgraded boomerang. Let's throw that too. So uh, I'm missing the regular boomerang and the upgraded boomerang. All right. All those are from a fairy fountain behind the waterfall near where you get the flippers. We'll eventually run over near there to get the flippers, but I don't know. Let me think. I'll need it for Watergate Dungeon. Huh. Well. Hmm. Well, that level was about 80% harder than anything in the light world. 80s. Hmm. Hey, Starman, uh, why don't you go and take my friend to the eternal 80s roaming, like, get her a makeover. Um, why don't you do that? Because my heart problem was treatable in 83, 89, or 92, and I don't want a chance turning blue and dying while there. You could ask Wiley for a... oh, no, I guess you can't. Alright, I'll be back next time. And so will I, but, uh, let's make this game more fun. After the Palace of Darkness, naturally, is the Watergate Dungeon. Followed by Skull Woods. Followed by the dark Cairo village of Thieves Town. But, the completion of the Watergate Dungeon or Skull Woods is not needed to go and complete Thieves Town. So next time, let's sequence break into Thieves Town Dungeon. Or for those of you who couldn't follow that, here's a preview.